Dear girl Tatiana, and today, we're diving headfirst into the ultimate rap civil war, Drake vs. Everybody. That's right, we're spilling all the juicy details on the stars caught in the crossfire of this epic showdown. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a beat on all the latest celebrity scoop. Let's begin. As the 2024 rap civil war wages on, Drake appears to have become a lone wolf, fighting an uphill battle against some of the genre's brightest stars. Though the blockbuster battle against Kendrick Lamar is the main event on the card, multiple other artists seemingly want to take a swipe at the OVO captain. And in response, Drake has framed this lyrical warfare as a 20 versus 1 foot contest, implying that he's ready to take on multiple opponents at once. Lines have been drawn ever since Lamar's scorching verse on Like That, featured on the Metro Boomin and Future Project, We Don't Trust You, and spending three weeks atop the Hot 100 chart. More opponents have rallied alongside him since then. Rick Ross, ASAP Rocky, and The Weeknd have all chosen their side and aligned with Kendrick, as well as Kanye West, who previewed his scathing verse against Drake on the unofficial, like that, remix. Future called me and I went to the studio and laid that. We went through the creative process of adding the chords and called the hooligans out in London to get on the joint, he explained in an interview with Justin Leboy over the weekend. Everybody was very, very energized about the elimination of Drake. The age-old saying that idols become rivals rings loud and clear for Drizzy, as some of his heroes have turned their backs on him, seemingly in hopes of watching his empire crumble. I've compiled a list detailing everyone involved in the rap civil war and their respective roles in taking down the six god. Rosie entered the fray when he went on social media and filmed himself playing Kendrix, like that verse. This act threw many people off, considering the rich history between Ross and Drake. They've partnered on many hip-hop classics over the years, including DJ Khaled's I'm On One, Ross, Aston Martin Music, and Stay Scheming. When Drake released Push Ups, however, Ross was caught in the line of fire. As his Gold Roses collaborator noted, he was the one who gave him his most prominent Hot 100 entries, including Money in the Grave, Lemon Pepper Freestyle, and I'm On One. Can't believe he jumping in, this n tin in 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Drizzy, spewed Drake. Ross's retaliation came in under three hours following the leak of Push Ups, on Champagne Moments, Rosie didn't mince words, rapping, flow is copy and paste, Wheezy gave you the juice. Another white boy at the park wanna hang with the crew. The feud between Ross and Drake escalated to social media, where they began exchanging shots, ranging from who has more money and bigger property. Hey boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you post that you got more money than Ricky Rose, and let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rosé, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rosé money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours, the countdown has begun. And that old ass jet you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old motherfucker. God. Is Ranging from who has more money and bigger property to Ross Waite to Drake's alleged cosmetic surgeries. Arguably the mad scientist behind this rap civil war, Metro Boomin's skirmish with Drake first began when the producer chose not to include the rapper on his song Trance from 2022's Heroes and Villains album. In an interview with DJ Drama Streets is Watchin' Radio, Metro claimed the song, which ultimately featured Travis Scott and Young Thug, was already done and didn't need an additional verse. He really wanted to get on it, but I was letting him know that it was really just done for real. I was really just set on how it was, Metro said. I was like, bro, I ain't trying to sell you no dream. I'm locked in where it was. He had hit me and was just like, let me see if there's anything you could add to it. He was like, if you don't like it, then whatever. Despite the misunderstanding, Metro appeared on Drake and 21's album Her Loss as a co-producer alongside David XLI for their song, More Ms. Power. Things got rocky when Metro tweeted and deleted the following when speaking on award shows honoring her loss over his album. Yet her loss still keeps winning rap album of the year over H&V, 
Proof that award shows are just politics and not for me, Metro wrote in the deleted tweet. IDC about awards honestly, the true award and reward is knowing that the music I spend so much time on brings joy to people's everyday lives. Shortly after, while appearing on Kick, Drake issued a message that some believe to be aimed at Metro. And to the rest of you, to the rest of you, the non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters, you guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Honestly, if you guys want to look in my eyes, you guys want to do something? You guys, that's what I thought. No, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. That's what I th Metro seemed unbothered initially, saying there wasn't any real issue between him and Drake. Still, that didn't stop Metro from taking pot shots at Drake on Instagram and Twitter the last few weeks, resulting in Drake ultimately calling him out on push-ups, rapping. Metro, shut your hoe ass up and make some drums, NAA. He also clowned him on social media, using clips from the film Drumline to punctuate his points about him focusing on his production. The most significant piece on the board, and Drake's actual opponent in this battle, is Kendrick Lamar. The squabble between these two rap heavyweights was once a fantasy when they first appeared on the rap scene. They collaborated on records, beginning with Drake's 2011 Buried Alive interlude, from Take Care to Lamar's Poetic Justice, from Good Kid Mad City. Things went awry when a testy Lamar sought the crown and sniped at the entire rap industry on control. Naming all his peers, including Drake and the song's creator, Big Sean, Kendrick let it be known he was gunning for supremacy. Years after, Lamar and Drake would throw cheap shots here and there, but nothing game-changing until like that. Lamar's haymaker caused a frenzy in the hip-hop world as he denounced Jay, Cole's mention of the Big Three from First Person Shooter, rapping. What the f the Big Three? It's just Big Me, n I'm really like that, and your best work is a light pack, just outlive my jack. For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines, he gon' see Pet cemetery. Lamar's onslaught continued as he pummeled Drake with more jabs, referring to his best work as a light pack and his inferior by rapping. Prince outlived Mike Jack. Weeks after, like that, shook the rap landscape, Drake looked to return the favor, releasing not only Push UPS, but also his newly released Taylor Made Freestyle, which implemented the use of AI. Drake's usage of the controversial technology was a bold take, as he wrote and recorded all three verses before later using the software to mimic Tupac and Snoop Dogg, Lamar's heroes. Future and Metro earned another ally for the Drake takedown in the weekend when he was tagged in on All To Myself. Despite their Canadian ties, the singer skewered Drake and gloated about never having to sign up for OVO at the beginning of his career. To some, the most unexpected player in the 20v1 foot takedown of Drake is ASAP Rocky. Drake ignited the spark when he seemingly came after the Harlem rapper's girlfriend Rihanna on 2023's Fear of Heights. Phew, that was one wild ride through the world of celebrity drama. Thank you all for joining me today as we uncovered all the stars caught up in the epic rap civil war between Drake and everybody else. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know whose side you're on in this heated battle. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your squad. Bye for now.